Oh, you just heard night burp. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Kelly and welcome to Kayla Creates. I'm doing another one of my favorite videos to film. I am doing one of my marine biology videos. What do you guys think that the theme is this time? Oh wait, duh, you guys saw it in the title. <laughs> so this is a great white shark inspired video. So the great white shark is obviously a very um, well-known predator in the ocean. Many people are absolutely terrified of sharks. Many people are absolutely intrigued by sharks. Um, but everyone knows of the great white out of the crazy amount of species of sharks that there are in the water. Its a species name is, oh, I can never do Latin, Carcharodon carcarius. Um, and it's known as the great white shark, the white shark, or the white pointer. Um, so it is a kind of mackerel shark that's just kind of its body type and its genus that it's part of. Um, but these sharks are absolutely massive. They are the biggest predator on earth. Um, and they can get, typically they're 15-ish feet, uh, but they can get up over 20 feet. Um, I think the largest one found was about 25, which is crazy. That's like the size of a basketball court. Um, but uh, typically females are between 11 and 13 feet and males are between 13 and 16 feet. Uh, but the great white shark eats tons and tons and tons of food a year. Um, they eat seven tons of food a year and they can weigh close to a ton themselves. Um, but the cool part about sharks is, or great white sharks, is that once they feed, they eat so much that they usually don't have to feed again for a long time. Um, they can go up to another three months without food. Uh, obviously that's not ideal, it's just that they can survive, uh, without food for that long. Um, and yeah, the way sharks hunt, I think is super, super, super cool. So sharks, uh, they have crazy amount of senses. They have more senses than we do. They start hunting with smell. So they have the strongest smell um, receptors. That is the their most potent receptors that they have in their body. They can smell um, an animal in distress or blood up to a few miles away. First a shark hunts by smell. They swim towards whatever they have found in the water. Um, next they go by eyesight. So their eyes are pretty good. Um, they're not as good as mammals that live in the water, but they're still pretty good. They're good for a type of fish. Um, and then they hunt by sight, so they can actually see the animal. They still don't have the best eyesight, so they can't really tell the difference between a um, hurt animal and a human swimming. The way humans swim is how otters and turtles and other animals swim when they're hurt. They make lots of bubbles, they make lots of splashes, um, and that is why sharks typically take a bite out of human. They think that you're an injured animal and they take a bite and they're like, no, this isn't what I wanted, and swim away. There have been very few, if any, recorded people completely eaten by a shark. It's not really a thing. I don't know why people have that as a thing in urban legends, but it's not really a thing. But next, after eyesight, then they actually go with their electro sense. Um, so they actually have these ampl ampullae of Lorenzini, which are little tiny hairs that they have on their um, faces and the bridge of their nose, um, and they can feel vibrations in the water. Um, so after they get close enough where their eyes that are on the side of their head, they can't see anymore. Um, they go by those vibrations and it's almost like a type of touch that they can feel the animal in front of them. So then they go in and they eat and then they grab on and then they can taste it. If it is an animal that they want, they will continue eating. If an animal that they do not want, they'll take a bite and spit it out and let that animal sadly handle itself. But if it is what they want, they will continue and eat and hunt and that is what happens. Um, I think that is insanely cool, but not everybody does. But I absolutely love sharks. I am the type of person that when I'm scuba diving and I see a shark underwater, I swim towards it. Um, I don't know if I would do that with a great white shark. This was only with a black tip um, that I saw when I was in Australia. Um, I swam towards it, me and my friend did. My mom hates that story, sorry mom. Great white sharks are definitely 
super super cool creatures. Um, I don't want to get this video super long because I know my clownfish one was a little ridiculous, but if you guys have any questions at all, I would love to answer them down below. And if you guys want to see how I got this look, just follow along. Okay, so I'm just going to start out with my eyebrows. Um, I want them to be pretty bold because of sharks are bold creatures, I guess. So I'm just going to be using my Chella tantalizing eye cream, eyebrow cream in taupe. Um, I got this from my BoxyCharm for July. I'm not gonna do this. And I'm just using my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, eyebrow brush. Okay, so then I'm just going to do the other eyebrow and clean up under this one, and I will be right back. Okay, and then what comes next, if you guys know me, it is my Inklot eye primer um, and a angled brush by Royal and Lang Nickel. And then for this look today, I'm going to be using my, na my Naked Smoky palette by Urban Decay. Um, I haven't used this on any of my videos yet, which is cool. I think the grays in this are going to be really nice, and I'm pretty pumped. Um, I'm going to start out with setting my eye primer with this color right here. It's in the shade 13. And then next, I'm going to be going in with, to give my crease a little bit more dimension, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's called Combust. And then next, I'm going to be going in with this shade right here. It's called Password, and I'm starting to go into those gray tones. pack that on the outer corner because of the liner that I'm going to do. I want to make sure it's nice and gray. I don't want to be too dark because I want it to look like the color of the shark. Um, even though I like to really intensify my outer corner usually, I'm just going to keep it this nice flat gray. I know I have eyeshadow everywhere. I just don't know what shape eyeliner I want to do just yet, so I'm trying to make sure it's everywhere I could possibly want it. <laughs> I look like a two-year-old who is playing in her mother's makeup. Yay! And then I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush and clean that up a little bit. Look like a raccoon! Okay, and then I'm going to actually cut part of my crease. Um, you can see Pooh's tail right here. Um, so I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light and a little flat shader brush. What I do is I just tap it along my lash line, look up, oh, I didn't put enough on, I'm not doing this correctly. Right where that line goes is where my crease needs to go. And then I'm going to set it with that same really light shade. Um, it's 13. Really pack that shadow on. And then I'm going to just go in with that same password shade right here with a fluffy brush and just blend in those edges on the side. I'm running out of sunlight. So I'm just going to do one eyes um, eyeliner off camera just to figure out what I want to do and then I will be right back. Okay, so this took three tries. I 
think I finally got it the way I like it. So I'm gonna attempt to do it on him. I'm just going to clean up under the liner with a little bit of my cellar water and I will be right back. Okay, so now that the eyes are somewhat done, I'm going to move on to my face. Um, I'm going to be using my Cover FX Blurring Primer. I can literally see the sun going down through my window. And I don't have lighting. I use natural light, so I may have to do intro without this makeup. It's fine. Then for foundation today I'm just going to be using my Colourpop No Filter foundation. My current fave, even though it's a little too dark. I have no idea where my beauty blender is. Huh. And then for concealer today I'm going to be using my NARS Creamy Radiant Foundation in Canal. And then I want to be really defined because I don't know why sharks make me feel like my face needs to be really defined. So I'm going to be doing cream contour today with my oldie but a goodie. Anastasia De uh, Beverly Hills contour kit and my handy dandy oval brushes. I use the middle shade of the medium palette because this is all I have. Then I'm going to blend that all in with my beauty blender. And then I'm also going to bronze, and for bronzer I'm going to be using my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit and a big Crown Pro brush because I want to be really contoured. I don't know why sharks make me think I feel like I need to be contoured, but they do. And I'm not going to use any blush because that seems too girly for this. And then for highlighter today, I'm going to be using um, my Anastasia Aurora palette. And I'm going to be using this light, light, light shade called Luna with my Crown Pro brush. I love this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then for lashes today, I'm going to be using my Azerado Cosmetics ones in the sh in um, the style Hollywood. Use code Kelly10 at checkout for 10% off your order. Yes, they liked my last video so much that they asked me to be an influencer. I don't know how because that video was a mess, but whatever. I'm still excited. Um, I am gonna do these off camera because I know you guys know how long that took me, and I will be right back. Okay, so lashes are on. I struggled yet again. Are you surprised? Um, and then I'm going to finish off underneath my eyes. I'm just going to be using that same password shade under my eyes. The fluffy brush. And then I'm just going to set my face using um, Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Spray. And then last, but certainly not least, this was actually my really, I'm most excited part. Since I'm using almost absolutely no color in this look, sharks are so dark and so mysterious. Oh my God. Don't even tell me I just have poppy seed in my teeth this entire time. I thought I would make my lips blood red. Um, maybe not blood red, but bright red. So I am going to use my Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick 
in the shade Lady Balls. This is my all-time favorite lipstick. This is the first high-end lipstick I've ever owned. I think it's still my only high-end lipstick I've owned. Um, but I love this stuff. Um, it lasts all day. It's kiss proof. Like, I love this. And that is the final look. How do you guys like it? so excited about this look I am so excited I've been wanting to do this look forever um so this is the final look um I hope that you guys like this video I hope that it wasn't too long for you guys um I just really like to have a lot of information in these videos because I'm full of information I don't really get to share it much anymore now that I'm not in college um but I hope that you guys liked it I hope that you guys aren't so afraid of the great white shark anymore and I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing me get this look. I hope that you guys can use it sometime in the future because I think it's pretty cool. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are. If you like me, subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you and I hope to see you guys again next time. Bye!